Here we go. Just to keep these things stable, I've got tape on these pieces of pine here, and I want to clamp them flat to each other before I butt join them to each other. Pretty good. <laughs> it's the squiggly part I'm nervous about. What I'm no most nervous about is breaking off the tip. So I uh, I, I, I ran a blade through there, a, a utility knife blade through there first, and I'm hoping that that helps me to not split it. You know, I didn't want to cut this open. I just wanted to mask one end off and stain one side black. But stain penetrates and, and soaks like, like a sponge, you know? So I was afraid that the stain would go into the side that I want to keep raw. And um, we're, gonna make, we're gonna make this work. Okay, now I got those things cut apart and I'm gluing them down to a piece of veneer so that I can stain one of them dark separately and it won't go over to the other. And my man here, James, yeah. he says that these yin, yin and yang signs often have a different colored gap in between and around them. So when I sink it into the target piece, I'm going to make the hole slightly bigger and then fill the gap with pink putty. Now my aim is to uh, sink this baby into this lid and uh, I did a practice run so I'm not as nervous as I should be but uh, yeah, I'm nervous. So what I want to do right now is make four locating pins that uh, jut out from the top and seat themselves in matching uh, holes in, in the bottom. And um, I made a jig so that my router can follow it and it'll be exact the same, exactly the same everywhere. The idea is 
router, the router bit follows this shape. This locates it on the inside corner there, and this locates it on the outside. I do that on all eight of my corners. They should be exact. <coughs> I'm, I'm a real anti-fan of, uh, you know, filler for fill the blemishes with, with actual wood because it takes the stain. In Taiwan, I can't find putty that actually takes stain and matches it to the color of your wood. So I made my own putty. I got what I could get, which is that color wood putty. And I got a finer version of the dust from this rosewood I've been working on. I got a dye. It's an all-purpose wood dye. I got some polyvinyl adhesive and I mixed it all together and I, and I made that. And my hope is that uh, the fact that wood dust is in there uh, allows it to take the stain better. But at least my color is a whole lot closer to what I'm doing. I couldn't find a, the, the right putty knife so I'm using an ATM card uh, for a bank account that has about 3NT in it and I'm applying it that way. So now we got six coats of lacquer on there and I've sanded it down with 400 grit. And I got some wax cooking on the stove. I want it to melt and go on hot and then I'll buff it out. Melt it all right. Wow. That is hot. 